okay all the packages are downloaded and ready to be installed just type reboot in the command prompt window and it'll it won't actually reboot but it will shut down Linux well it should there it goes the next step you want to do we're gonna we're gonna launch Zell launch again and this time you really don't need to wait for it to shut down it's not gonna hurt anything if you just turn it off it's just running from RAM anyways <clears throat> okay so turn it off grab this disk and it's, I'll include a link to this disk it's called SDA bootloader and it's got your VMZ Linux and your kernel well that is your kernel but it's got your kernel and the a boot thing on it sorry I have to have my USB drive plugged in at the start so I can get the freestyle dash automatically I also have dash launch set to run El Zell launch from button X when I boot the system if I have it on my hard drive in a in the apps folder in this case the Linux drive doesn't have that so I can't do it that way alright take out the gen 2 live disk put in the SDA bootloader disk Zell launch should be in homebrew where it was before. And this time we're not running the Gen 2 Live CD. And it's going to mount, actually mount the hard drives. The screen text will kind of change. And you'll get a login screen. Just type in root, and I think it's going to ask you to enter a new password like it did before. And it's going to start downloading the packages to install. And once it gets done with that, it's going to install the packages. And I guess the next clip is going to be the system booting and how to get into your X Windows system. This is about a two hour process of downloading and, and installing all this stuff. So just let it sit and work. Watch a movie, whatever. It's supposed to do that. Anyways, not really a point in sitting here watching all this it'll do its thing and there's a little counter on the time it's not very accurate but it gives you an estimate of how long it's about two or two hours and well now it dropped to an hour and a half whatever it'll be about an hour and a half <clears throat> when it's done it'll have you set up the screen resolution and some other things like that you can pretty much go with your gut on screen resolution, language, key mapping, etc. Everyone should know what they need. And you want to choose Xenon frame buffer for the uh, video driver. Other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory after this part. <clears throat>